Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. It's 9 a.m. and I'm about to get in the car and head down to Columbia, Tennessee for my first mountain bike race of the season. This is going to be about an 18 mile race for me. Generally as a cat one I do three laps but for some reason this year I'm only doing two laps. I'm actually doing the exact same distance as the cat two woman which seems kind of odd. I also have to start behind the cat two men which I'm not excited about but Anyways, my main concern is that it rained last night down there. I'm hoping that I don't race till 1 p.m. So I'm hoping that the course has a little bit time to dry up. Anyways, I need to get in the car and head down because it is a three hour ride. Let's get in the car and go. All right, guys, I've made it down to the Chickasaw Park and I'm gonna head up and get registered because I did not pre-register. Just gonna kind of get some of that stuff situated, say hi to the guys and probably just start having lunch and figuring out when I'm gonna start getting ready to ride. So I didn't pick the camera back up until after the race, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to do some audio commentary for this with my GoPro footage and we will see how it goes. So this is my first time ever doing this. So we line up for the race starting on a grass field and we kind of go through a section to thin us out before we get to the trail. So that's what you see here. Now, what's interesting about this is that I knew there were two other Cat 1 women. However, when we lined up, we actually ended up starting with the Cat 2 women as well. So there was probably, instead of just three of us, there were maybe 12 or maybe even 15, I'm not sure. I wanna start off by saying that I am not a fast starter at all, and I know that, and so I never actually start fast, and I just use my pacing ability to you know, make up the difference of that later in the race. I, I've seen so many people just fly off the line and then blow up on you know the second lap, so that's just never been my strategy. So I'm kind of much further back than what I would definitely like to be here. And I'm kind of thinking, oh gosh, this is, this is uh, not what I'm used to. And as you can see, there's a huge gap opening up. So I decided, okay, it's time to catch up, close this, because I do not want to get these girls out of sight because of the saying, you know, out of sight, out of mind. The girl who is actually leading onto the trail is racing Cat 1. And a couple girls behind her is the other Cat 1. So both of the Cat 1 women in my category are in front of me. Even though we all started together, our podiums are still separate. So really I'm only racing the other two girls in this group. This section right here is kind of a steep little uphill that you really need to carry your momentum through. And the girl right there, she really didn't do that too great. And so I had to take the, the higher line around her, which was a little bit more rough, but I gained a position right there. So now I'm just focusing on catching up to that group that is right there in front of me. I'm gonna speed it up again here just to kind of make this go a little bit faster. This section of trail is really fun. Uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit of it here. So I'm kind of thinking in my mind, you know, I wanna move up. I can still see the girls up ahead past these two girls directly in front of me. I'm keeping an eye out for them. But this is not really super technical, but it's kind of hard to do a lot of major passing right here. We are riding kind of around a creek. There's some fun little drops and some stuff like that. That. but I'm trying to plan what you know I need to move up I, I want to move up soon because I don't want to get stuck behind someone and lose too much time as I'm thinking this the girl in front of me she goes right around that other girl and I was kind of like oh I need to I need to be more aggressive that's something that I have to remind myself a lot is just being more aggressive and I was thinking hey we had an aggressive start so I, I got this so here we are in another open field I tell myself this is the time let's go I need to stay with those girls up ahead so I go ahead and pass her and I carry on with the race here gonna close that gap and get on those wheels gonna speed it up again because I do catch up to them and then I just ride with them for a little bit kind of just waiting to make that next pass not really sure how I'm gonna do it at this point but we get up to this technical section and anytime that you're behind somebody there's some rocks and roots and if they have to get off then pretty much everybody behind them has to get off as well i'm sure most people have been in that situation before this spot's not really too technical but you are coming around a slow turn and then it's a little bit of a climb and especially if it's wet or anything like that it's even harder to come across but this kind of shuffles the some of the people but i'm still in the same spot that i was i'm about fifth back I believe 
but we get on our bikes and we carry on. There's these rocky sections here. They're not really too bad. You just kind of pick a line and carry your pace through them. What's really cool is that I pre-rode this section of the trail since this is like my fifth time racing here. I kind of had an idea of what sections that I needed to go and take a look at before and so that I could pick the proper line. So that's actually what I'm going to do here in just a second. And it's kind of funny because I was riding up to it and I kind of started to second guess myself. And then I was like, no, move back over to the left. And so I was a little bit slower through the section than what I would have liked to have been when I pre-rode. But when I come back around for the second lap, I get through there really smooth, really happy with that. So now I am just getting back on the wheel i can kind of see you know there's a little bit of a gap opening up i'm looking for an opportunity to come around her one does open up but i'm going to go ahead and speed it up again here what i want to show you guys is this open field here that we're coming to is where i do my massive attack so i pass all three of these girls at once i just let them know i'm on your right it takes me a second to get around because of this corner the it's a little rough i'm off in the grass I get around and I just um, got my head down still. I'm just turning the pedals, keeping it going, and then I'm starting to feel it a little bit at this point. And I start to realize right around here that, hell, hey, there is a headwind in this field. Maybe this wasn't the smartest thing to do. So I go ahead and take a peek back around, right around here. And I realize that nobody's on my wheel. Nobody came with me. However, the girl in red, she did move up. She came around them. And maybe she's 15, 20 seconds back. I'm not really sure. So I keep trying to keep the pace high right here and just get out of the field and get back on the trail because now I'm thinking out of sight, out of mind again. I want to get out of sight of these girls, make it harder for them to catch up to me. But I'm still kind of questioning this and I'm also thinking about, you know, how am I going to recover from this effort? This is so early on in the race that I go too hard too soon. This is one of the harder climbs in the back end of the of the course. This is towards the end of it right here. I'm kind of huffing and puffing, getting my way up there. But I felt like I was climbing fairly well. My legs were a little bit fatigued from those efforts. Now, right here, there's some rocks in this section, and you might be able to hear Coach Beckett. He's actually yelling at me from up on the hill of the trail there. He's yelling at me because I'm coasting through the section when I should be pedaling through it. I was coasting because I was worried about actually hitting my pedal on a rock, which really I shouldn't have been worried about that because I didn't have enough momentum to get over the rock, so I had to put a foot down. So he was really yelling at me for all the right reasons. Actually, most of the times that I see him out on the trail or ride with him, he usually yells at me for something, I, it, which I, like, I always learn from him, so it's so cool. Here I am coming in through the transition. I grab that water bottle. I'm starting my second lap. Probably somewhere around here, that girl in red, she, I kept looking back to check for her, and she was not losing or really gaining any time on me. It looked like she was holding her position pretty well. So I'm assuming that somewhere through here, she probably saw me, and that motivated her a lot more to catch up to me. Because not too far after I get back on the trail and I get to that rocky section, she gets back on my wheel, and she actually passes me. She was much smoother through the rocks than I was. And I actually get back up, and get on her wheel and she and I pretty much ride together for the majority of the rest of the second lap. Not really going super hard, but she's really fast through the flat sections, really good technical. But whenever we get to the very last climb, she actually tells me to go around her. So I go ahead and do it. Here I am coming back into the finish to actually end the race. I went around her and I looked at the official results later and found that I did put a minute of time on her from that climb to the finish. So that's it for the commentary. I hope you guys liked it and I'll talk to you in just a minute in the video. All right, quick little race recap for today. This race recap is gonna be much better than the one that I did last year. Most of the time, since I'm a cat one, I use the fact that I do more distance against my competitors. I'm pretty good at pacing and I usually pace really well. And most of the time I can either cause people to blow up or catch the, or just kind of have an idea if they're gonna blow up, like if they go out too hard, when to let them go, not, not to chase them, stuff like that. I usually do pretty well at that. And knowing that I was only doing two laps instead of three, I knew that I needed to be a lot faster for these two laps. And in fact, I 
put down the fastest lap I've ever done here. A couple of takeaways for the race is I am still getting used to getting back into cross-country racing after doing so much endurance last year. I was not really 100% used to having my heart rate jacked that high for so long. So I've got some so that will come with time and as I do more races. This is obviously a very early year race, but got a first place still and was really happy with my time, really happy with the trail conditions. So glad that I came out and raced today. I actually, on the Strava segment for the race loop, I actually got the second fastest time overall. I'm pretty happy with that. That was kind of my goal was to put down a really fast lap. I just want to focus on racing and not spending all this time recording and I, I I'm still trying to figure out how to do both but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here because now I have to drive home three hours and that's just gonna be boring so uh, like I said I I'm gonna continue to work on improving this race day content because I'm not exactly happy with where it's at yet today if you guys like this video then give it a thumbs up and I'm gonna see you guys on the next one